Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. Tish is back with a brand new rendition. Something. Grab a hold of me tightly. Flow like a heartbeat daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up the stage and rock the like a candle. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I am behind doing my October favorites. And the reason being is because last week I noticed in my sub box that there are a ton of October favorites videos out and I freaked out. I literally thought we were already in November. And then I looked at my calendar on my phone and I thought, okay, we are still in October. Oh my goodness, I am not losing my mind, no. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I have a ton of stuff to show you and I am gonna get started with skincare. And before I do, let me just say I have no flops for this month. However, I'm kind of iffy on some things that I'm about to show you, starting with this. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash and Pink Grapefruit. It's a foaming scrub. You can use it every day because it is not that harsh. This is what it looks like. And I just went and picked up another one. And, you know, this is doing my skin pretty good. I'm not going to say it doesn't work. It has cleared me up a lot. However, I am still getting occasional breakouts on my chin. You guys can't tell because I do have concealer. Um, I don't know if it's still just something hormonal or what. I don't know. But, oh, I guess I do have a flop. I didn't want to think that it was this, but I will show you. Oh, this is a flop, and I feel so bad about it. I've mentioned it before, me having issues with it before, but I had tested it out. I had asked my doctor. We had thought that we ruled this out as far as my breakouts, and no. Um, I wore this the other day. I think I actually did my Kate Winslet makeup tutorial, and I did my makeup with this. I washed my face and the next day I got bumps on my face and cystic acne and it was horrible. And that's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love this because it has good coverage. It looks nice. Something in it is reacting with my skin and I hate to say it, but I can't use it. I can't use it at all and I think I'm just going to take this and the other MAC foundations that I have back to MAC and grab me a lipstick. I cannot do MAC foundations anymore. I have tried. There's sometimes it seems it doesn't break me out and then, uh, then I get the worst breakouts ever. But going back to the acne wash, this stuff actually helped clear me up pretty good after I took off that foundation and I rested my face for a few days. So. This is okay so far, but what really has helped me out a lot, and I just got this, you all know that I love coconut oil. I'm not gonna stop talking about it, but I got a different kind because the other one that I had had to be refrigerated. So I wanted something that did not have to be refrigerated. So I got the Barleen's Organic Cold Pressed Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. And what's great about this is that it's extra virgin, it's cold pressed, which means that it is in its purest form. So this is good stuff. I would highly recommend it. It is said to be for all skin types. However, people, you know, everybody's skin reacts differently. Just because this works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. With any products that I'm showing you today or any products that I review for you guys, just know that everybody reacts differently. So you have to test stuff out yourself in order to really know if something is good for you. Since we are still on body products, the lotion that I have been loving, if any of you have tried this lotion, please comment below. It is by Bath & Body Works. It is Sweet on Paris. And I mean, there's nothing left in this bottle. It smells like a patisserie and you smell like lemon meringue oh my gosh it's all these different scents but it just smells so good I have loved this I need to get another bottle because 
it smells yummy and my husband loves how it smells on me and that to me is a freaking plus if you know what I mean. Moving on to a highlighter that I really love and some of you are going to hate me for this because you're going to say I can't get my hands on it. It's already sold out. I got this when it came out with the MAC in Extra Dimension collection and now I believe it just came out again with the Holiday collection. I forgot what the collection is called. But anyways, this is superb mineralized skin finish. It is just beautiful and I am going to swatch it on my hand because it is just that beautiful. If you cannot get your hands on this, then I would recommend Soft and Gentle by MAC because it is pretty similar, but I have been totally loving this. It's really nice. It looks great on. It just goes really, really nice on my skin tone. So if you have skin tone like mine, then it'll look really nice on you as well. So I love this. It's very, very, very nice. Moving on to concealers, I have been loving two, and one of them is a drugstore, and this is the Sonia Kashuk concealer. I will show it to you. Been totally loving it, and it does have a setting powder that comes with it too, but I haven't used it. But it's really, really good. It's really affordable, good coverage. I like it a lot. And then for higher end, I don't like this for under my eyes because it does crease, but I do like it for, you know, covering up my acne scars, and I did not have a reaction to this for whatever reason, but it's the MAC Select Cover Up, and I am in NW25. So this is really good. It really covers the acne well. I think that's why it's called Select Cover Up, because, duh, it covers up your blemishes and round spots but as far as under eye circles I wouldn't recommend it because it does crease really bad. The next two items I am going to show you are blushes and don't freak out when I show you the first blush because once I show you the second one you all are going to thank me because it's a lot more affordable and it is an exact, I mean exact dupe for the blush I'm about to show you, no joke. What I have been loving is the Perfect Cheek by MAC from the Marilyn Monroe collection. And it looks like this. This is what it looks like. And I forgot how much this was. I think it was like $25, $28, I don't remember. But for those of you who could not get your hands on this, and this is such a beautiful color, such a beautiful color, looks so nice on the skin. If you couldn't get your hands on it, then you can pick this up. This is the Good Glowing Blush in Cameo Glow, and it's by Avon. Check that out. Check out the perfect cheek. Exact dupe. Exact dupe. And let me go ahead and show you guys this, and I'll put the information below. This is what it is. Good Glowing Blush by Avon in Cameo Glow. Pick it up, it is the exact dupe. Just to show you, which cheek is it? Oh no, it's this one. This one's the Marilyn Monroe. This one is the Avon. You can't even tell the difference, so. And this is, I believe, about eight bucks. Compared to like 20 something, you can't beat it. So, Avon baby, and it looks exactly the same. Really nice, same color, you guys will love it. Moving on, I have been loving the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. This is what it looks like. And the color of eyeshadow that I put on top of that that I have been loving is by Ulta, and I'm also wearing that today. This is called Chianti. Really gorgeous. And the two just go so well together because the colors are pretty similar. So I've been loving that. And then for lipsticks, I'm going to move on to this. I mean, because I, oh, I just love it. I've mentioned this in all of my videos pretty much. I have been loving Max Current Lip Liner and Rebel Lipstick. This is my go-to Fall color, if you are into fall trends, mulberries, deep colors like this. I'm sorry, I was not flipping you off, I promise. Anyway, mulberry colors, Rebel by MAC. It's just 
my favorite. I love it so much. And then I have also been loving my YSL Rouge Pour Couture in 01. Oops, I don't even have the packaging on here right. Looks like this. Mine is scratched up from being in my makeup bag. But look at that color. So pretty. Been really, really enjoying this as well. And then for another color that I have been loving, this is by L'Oreal and it's called True Red, which is really, really pretty. This is the Colorish lipstick. So I've been loving those for lipsticks. They are just so nice. The two palettes that I have been using so much or that I used so much in October. I'll show you the first one is the BH Cosmetics 28 Colors Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. And I just use this in my Kate Winslet inspired makeup tutorial. If you haven't seen it, I will link it right here. And then I will also link it below so you all can see that. But look at these colors. A wide range of neutral colors and I have just been loving it. It has great colors for every day, for night. It's just beautiful. And then again, I just rediscovered my Chic by Shell palette. And this is from Lancome. And I don't know if this is just limited edition or if they actually sell it on their permanent line. I'm sorry if they don't, but I really love these colors, especially for fall. I love the purple and the brown, and then this, oh, I've mentioned this before in a past video, but this color is to die for. Let me swatch it because it is so sparkly and gorgeous and just beautiful. So I've been loving the Chic by Shell palette. It is just amazing. Love that. I have two more products that I'm going to show you, and the first one is by Lancome, and it is the La Base Pro Perfecting Makeup primer and what I love about this it does say it is for all skin types I have not had a problem with this and I have oily skin I love it it makes my foundation go on like no other it is pretty pricey but let me tell you this if you're gonna spend your money on makeup spend it on a good primer and a good foundation my nails are jacked up right now sorry there is a reason for that I am doing a review on a gel nail polish company that sent me a gel polish system for review. I love it, by the way. I'm going to tell you more about it when I do the review. This is regular nail polish. This is what happens to me after two days of wearing regular nail polish. Well, this is probably three, but after two days, my regular nail polish is done so, yes. But anyways, Lancome La Base Pro is amazing. And the last thing I'm going to show you... Don't go out and spend a ton of money on glitter liners. And this is actually the best one from their collection. This is the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Gold. I think there's like five bucks on Ulta's website because that's where I got it from, Ulta. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little line across my hand so you can see how pretty and pigmented this is. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at that gold liner. So pretty. And I have been wearing this so much this month. It is amazing. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on a lot of makeup products. Like I said, if you're going to spend or invest your money in makeup, do it by primer, a good primer, and a good foundation. Mascaras, you can buy drugstore mascaras because you're going to replace those every three months. You have to because bacteria will start growing in those and you'll mess up your eyes. By the way, speaking of eyes, I need to tell you guys this as a warning. My eyes are messed up right now. And the reason being is because of circle lenses. And I do not recommend them. I didn't know why I had all these red veins in my eyes, why they were so irritated, why my vision was blurry. And now I have to go see my eye doctor and I know it's from the circle lenses because I've seen other people um, on their blogs, on videos, say that they've had the same issues. So now I have to go see my doctor to see what's up and how to take care of this. So be careful with circle lenses. I wouldn't recommend you 
purchasing them. Some people have problems with them, some people don't, but it's better to go to an eye doctor and have your eye measured so your lenses are fitting properly because if they're not fitting properly, you're not gonna get enough oxygen to your eyes and it's just not a good thing. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. If you're wondering why my hair's freaky deaky today, I guess I was just feeling a little Gwen Stefani-ish today. I don't know, whatever. I was just lazy, just to be honest with you. I was freaking lazy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Peace out with your knees out. Bye you guys. Don't forget to check out my previous video, Kate Winslet Inspired Makeup Tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.